welcome back trainers that is right the lavender town music has returned into pokemon go during the night time so if you have your volume up you can hear that it's about a minute long loop of a remix of the lavender town music and with that said we're going to go ahead and check out some of these kind of ghost theme raids i guess deoxys but yeah we're going to throw that in there we're going to go in here with just dark types houndoom is going to be putting in some work here and then towards the end we're going to look at a gramble raid and as a matter of fact all the poison types that we just covered in my last video we're going to be using those to go up against the gramble raid to see how well the skunk tank can perform as well as muck but keep in mind it does have dark pulse my muck i didn't change it i didn't realize it had that move until it was too late i had a feeling it wasn't going to be the right move set and if you want to make sure the Pokemon that you're going to use in that raid have the correct move set. You can always go to search at that move and see if it has it instead of backing out. Say you're, I don't know, in a lobby with some people and you just can't, right? And about the Deoxys raid that we're going to be taking a look at, I did use all Marcro because I saw we had plenty of trainers. I realized how simple this raid boss is, the Deoxys. So I just figured I'd go in there with five Marcro and then a. Tyranitar or Mewtwo towards the end and since Sharpedo is dark type I thought I'd include it in this video as well I will be using a Torterra to go up against it followed up by a Community Day Venusaur all right and I also want to add that I can completely destroy these raids all right with the specific type of Pokemon but I'm choosing to use unique teams or something fun or challenging to go up against them I'm not trying to get the best time that I can get as well so just keep that in mind because I saw a few comments in my last ones. They were thinking, they weren't really insulting. They just were wondering if I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I absolutely do. Uh, I've done so many raids at this point. So many time breakers and speed runs and all that stuff that I can continue to do them. But I have to bring something new to the table. So I choose to pick unique teams and something challenging like six unique poison types to go up against a Gramble raid without any weather boost something like that okay and i know this macro isn't much of a challenge it's just silly and that deoxys did have uh, thunder shock so it was really hurting <laughs> the macro considering it is part flying type but funny enough i was able to stay in the battle the whole time even with seven trainers and i see those aggrons and even a reggie rock let's go <laughs> and the mewtwo i did have to do some dodging at the end to make sure I stayed in there so I can get as many balls as I could. Not that I was worried about not catching it because it seems like you can get this one on your first throw if you hit it with a golden berry or a great or an excellent throw. Even outside the ring, as you're gonna see, as you're gonna see trainers, <laughs> why? When you throw excellent after excellent throw, uh, you don't catch it, it breaks out immediately. The second you hit it outside the ring, bingo. You caught it. Not only that, it might even be a critical catch, like my first Mewtwo. So, uh, as a matter of fact, you're going to see what happens with the Giratina after this. Excellent throw, excellent throw, excellent throw. I'm also going to be bringing you guys some Machamp raids tomorrow with some different combinations of Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to be trying to do necessarily a speed run because I have Shadow Ball Mewtwo's. You're going to need Psychic to do the speed run. I could try six unique. Um, with Shadow Ball because I did do a side-by-side -side comparison going up against the Machamp with a Psychic Mewtwo and a Shadow Ball Mewtwo and it was very neck and neck. I do believe the Psychic one was ahead maybe uh, but it was very close nonetheless. But when you're using Shadow Ball so you're taking more time to do that animation equaling less damage output uh, on something that's not going to be getting super effective hit by your attack. So it still performs well. As you'll see tomorrow. But with that said trainers. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. And I'd like to say thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. Take care.